Now we can look at using the tools from the previous section on combining power series with these new Taylor series that we've um, been able to create. So here I have an example where I have the Taylor series for the inverse tan function. So I know that inverse tangent function is equal to the sum from k equals zero to infinity of negative one to the k, x to the two k plus one over two k plus one um, for the absolute value of x less than or equal to one. Um, and I wanna use that Taylor series to find the Taylor series for the function um, x times um, inverse tangent of x squared. So instead of using the, the definition of um, a Taylor series to find the Taylor series for this x times tan inverse of x squared, I'm going to use the Taylor series that I have for um, inverse tan here um, and just do some manipulations on that. Um, so I have x times tan inverse of x squared is equal to x times the sum from k equals zero to infinity negative one to the k. Um, and now I know that tan inverse of x was equal to the series here. I'm gonna replace x with x squared. So we have x squared to the two k plus one all over two k plus one. And so let's see what we're gonna have here. We have a sum from k equals zero to infinity, negative one to the k. This is gonna become x to the four k plus two since we're gonna be doing an exponent raised to an exponent, so we're gonna multiply those. Um, and then I have times x, I can bring that x inside. And this is all over two k plus one. So we see this is gonna be our sum from k equals zero to infinity, negative one to the k, x to the four k plus three, all over two k plus one. Um, and now this is asking us to find the first four non-zero terms. So we can just plug in um, some values of k here. So when k is equal to zero, we will have um, x cubed here um, over one. When we plug in one, we're gonna have minus x to the seventh here, all over three, plug in two, we'll have this positive x to the 11th all over five, and then plug in, let's see, we said zero, one, two, plug in three, we'll have negative x to the 15th here. Um, let's see, I said we were plugging in zero, one, two, three, um, yep, over seven here, and then this would keep going. But we've got the first couple of terms there to see what the beginning terms of this series look like. And we can also see here that this is still going to be um, converging for the absolute value of x less than or equal to one, since we substituted x squared there um, for x. So for um, absolute value of x less than or equal to one, I'm still gonna have this absolute value of x squared here, um, less than or equal to one, which is gonna mean my um, x here, still less than or equal to one.